It's that time of year again. It's spring cleaning time. So why not go ahead and clean up your e-commerce store too? Seriously though, when was the last time you went through and actually tidied things up a bit? No worries if it's been a while because in this video, I'm gonna go over the top four things to clean up on your online store. So the first thing to clean up is your website design and pages. There are a few key things that you want to check out. So first, are the links still working correctly on the site? Click around, make sure that everything is still working correctly. Is the menu navigation still the most relevant to use? Are you promoting the correct site pages at the top of your site? Do you need to reorder your collection page product order? So this could be either based off of stock levels or recent social popularity of an item. Do you need to switch out any images for newer ones? A lot of times we get new images for social media, but we forget to change out the ones on our about page and other areas of our site. This honestly is going to take the most amount of time out of all the steps, but scheduling time to do this quarterly will pay off, I promise. Talking about paying off, let's actually save you some money and evaluate your apps now. With a lot of e-commerce platforms like Shopify, the third-party app costs can start to add up. So many times I find I'm not using certain apps like maybe I previously was. Maybe it was due to a certain project promotion or trying out a new strategy. Whatever it is, the apps can get added in fast. So I find it's a nice way to save money and tidy things up a little bit. I like to do this quarterly for my Shopify store. So I go to my apps page and I look at the apps. I evaluate their performance towards the goal. So does this app collect reviews, promote email signups, drive more sales through upsells, Whatever it is that this app does, you need to check and see that it's actually doing that and working towards that goal and how well it is at actually accomplishing that. Next, I check how much it was used overall in my larger strategy. Was this a small one-off app that I was testing or is it part of a larger year-long growth mission? Three, I see how it slowed down my site. So some apps are really bad about this. So it's important to know how it affects your site speed. You can see your page speed score in Shopify under the themes area, as well as reviewing the code to see what's being inserted into your theme. Finally, I look at price and decide if it's worth it. Looking at the price of the app and the previous three metrics, I then decide if the app is worth it and to keep it for another quarter. So now that you've looked through your apps and ran through them through that checklist, you can remove the ones that you want. Okay, so I know I'm throwing a ton of information at you really fast. So if you want to follow along with me, I created a store audit checklist. It has everything listed out for the four areas to spring clean your online store. So if you want to download the guide, then click the link below or go to curiousthemes.com slash cleaning. Okay, so now we've cleaned up your website and apps. Let's talk about automations. The beauty of automations is that you can set them and forget them. They keep working for you every time someone signs up for your email list or buys a product. They're working for you 24 seven and that's sweet. However, many times though, we do forget to take a look and actually see how they're performing. Things can change so quickly, so much, even every quarter for an e-commerce store in terms of priorities. So you wanna make sure that you're being strategic about what you're talking about in these automated emails so it still aligns with your bigger quarterly or monthly goals. So go to your website and sign up for your list to make sure that everything is working correctly. Then go to your email reports and review. You're gonna start off reviewing the automation process first. So what emails and flows do you have set up that are currently sending and are they sending correctly? Also, what emails are getting the best open rates and click-through rates? Next, you wanna take a look at the messaging and images. So does any of the language that you used in the emails need to change? Are there new images or priorities that need to be switched out in your emails? Again, this can really change quarterly. The third is to go through your products and the collections that are being promoted. Are there different products that need more of a priority to promote now? Or is there a season or holiday that you can tie into to include them in your emails now to make them more relevant? Seriously, this one step alone, I feel like so many people skip over this. So it's gonna really set you apart from others in your niche. Okay, so this brings me to my final tip for spring cleaning your Shopify store. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and comment below to say hello and let me know what tip you're most excited about. It really helps my channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. Tip number four is to create your opportunities list. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing deep spring cleaning around my house, I always have a ton of ideas for new house projects I want to do. So now is your time to get those down for your Shopify store. After going through the first three tips of spring cleaning, what are some growth or marketing opportunities that you saw? 
for your website? Do you want to beef up your about page more? Or maybe you want to take new product photos for different staging for spring and summer. Are there any pages you want to highlight more on your site? For apps, maybe you removed some apps already, but what apps would you like to add in? Would you like to try out any new strategies that you need an app for like upsells or SMS marketing? And your automations. Do you want to add in any new emails to your email welcome sequences for welcoming new customers, abandoned cart emails, post-purchase review emails? Are you properly sending emails to customers who haven't engaged in the last 90 days to try and bring them back? Again, don't forget the guide that has everything I've gone over in this video. Just click the link below in the description or go to curiousthemes.com cleaning to enter your email address and instantly download the guide so you can get started. It's also going to let you know more information about how you can get your store reviewed by me if you're interested. So make sure to click the link below and download the guide. I really hope that this has helped you to think very differently about doing a quarterly cleaning for your e-commerce store. If you want to see the latest behind the scenes videos of my own e-commerce store, then check out this full playlist over here.